What is this, YouTube? Got me another pickups, random shit. Um, fortunately, no kicks. No hats. It's all good, though. Move this shit. Get out of here. <sighs> Right, let's get on with this shit, man. I just bought some blank tees. White, black, gray, red. Fit perfect. They were like two fifty each, so it was like four for ten. I actually got those for school. Found this at the thrift. Um some Miami Hurricanes satin jacket. Fits perfect, dude. I know my my boy Sean P would probably really like this actually. Just cause um I don't know, he's had, he, he always talks about it as a Miami Hurricane snapback, and how much he loves it, and he's always had one ever since he was a kid, so I'm sure, like, he saw this, he'd probably go bananas for it, but he did say, uh, he, he did mention he doesn't really rock, like, sports, like, apparel like that, unless they're hats, I don't know, but I bought it, because I thought it was fresh as hell, man, I saw it, and I was like, oh, shit, God, it caught me that joint, so, yeah, It'll probably go well with that uh, Miami Hurricanes hat that my collection's traded me. So, that was pretty cool. Alright, this is a pretty cool little thing I copped. Alright, so, y'all may know another YouTuber by the name of uh, Nightwing. Well, I don't know if, man, fuck, I don't know the numbers in his name, but he's the one that gives like the real detailed ass shoe reviews. Well, he basically, uh, PM me one day and he was like, "Hey man, I saw this on PickYourShoes.com and I know you're into like that retro shit." I mean, he knows what's up. You know, we're around the same age, so same shit he likes. I pr I pretty much like. But um, basically, what this is is actually like a figure. It's uh, so analog, Tendo. It's by Squid Kids. Um, basically, there is like five. This is the box it came in. You can take off the legs and the and the hands, but there's only 500 of these made. Um, there was other, other types of design stickers, um, but I ended up getting this one because I think this one's the best. It actually has like a cassette tape, Nintendo cartridge, and like a little, what is that, floppy disk? Basically, they're in heaven on top of a cloud. Um, I think this was the best, you know, cover sticker. There's like a Mario one, another one. Um, the other ones were a little bit more rare. I think uh, there's other one was like only a hundred of them were made. The other ones were, they only had three hundred made. So this is the one that's not the not the rarest, but only five hundred made for these. But I didn't care because I didn't buy it for rarity. I bought it because I fucking liked it, and I think this is the best looking one. So I got it on PickYourShoes.com, man, like on a sneaker site, and I think it's pretty cool. Put this shit in my room. I would have bought all the other ones, but I'm not gonna. These were, I mean, these are kind of pricey. So I'm not going to buy them. They're a little bit too big. So I, I wouldn't want all of them in my room just hanging. So I just I thought I'd just take one of them. So I thought this was pretty cool shit, man. This is like a little little cool thing to have. So big ups to Nightwing for that one, man. Hooked it up. As soon as, as soon as I saw what it was that he sent the link for, I bought it, dude. I bought this shit in a heartbeat. Love it. All right. Um, Actually, here's another YouTuber that hooked it up. Green January knows that I'm trying to get all the Goosebump books, and he actually found number 52 for me. Um, so he was like, "Hey man, I found it for you," and I was like, "Yo, can I reimburse?" He's like, "Nah, man, don't even worry about it. It's real cheap to send it out." So I was like, "Sweet man," and this this one's actually in good condition. This is a really good condition one. Um, the only ones I'm missing now is 49, 56, 57, and 60, and then I'll have. I have all of them. I have all the goosebumps. So I'm just taking my time with that. You know, if I ever find them or not. But big ups to Green January for hooking this up. That was really cool of him. Appreciate it, man. I just got this in today, too. Alright, let's see. I got uh, these two X-Men VHS tapes. I remember these when I was a kid. They came out when I was a kid. They... I don't know if these were like a Pizza Hut thing. I, I think they were a Pizza Hut thing, man. They came with like a card and shit. This is the first one, and then this is the second one. I don't know how many they came out with, though. Maybe maybe just two. But you can tell it's, like, really shiny. It is old school. I got them because they're the X-Men. Cool covers, shiny. You know, I like getting VHS tapes that, you know, they don't have DVDs of. So, thought I'd cop those. Um, some games I got. Yeah, check it out. I found some, <laughs> I found some N64 games, dude. Oh, gosh. Um, I bought Blast Corpse. Because I remember when the N64 first released, 
This was one of the games that for some reason I thought was so fucking random. I thought it was just random as hell. I was like, what is this game about, man? Ever since then, I've been wanting to play it. Yeah, I played it now, but it's not that great. But I've always wanted it for some reason. And guess what? It sucks. Then I bought this, thinking I didn't have it. I was going to end up selling it, because I knew these can go for a lot. Um, turns out I don't have Mario Party 2. I only have Mario Party 1. And I fucking hate the Mario Parties, but... So I don't have it, I'll keep it. The last one is Bomberman. I thought I had this one too, I don't have this one. You know, I thought I was going to end up selling this one, but... I was like, fuck it. I don't have it. I love Bomberman, so... Keep this one. Um, I did find the Smash Brothers and Super Mario 64 as well, but I, I already have those, so I sold those. I'm selling those on eBay right now. Especially Smash Brothers, that one can go for a little bit. Mario, I don't know. Pretty much a test run with that one. I don't know how much that's going to go for. It might just end up at 99 cents, but whatever. You live and you learn, so I'll keep those three. Uh, I found this at the Goodwill. Iron and Blood. It's a fighting game. Um... Yeah, I wasn't really thinking to get this. I mean, because I was like fucking Satan in the front, too. Like, that's random. But the thing I, reason why I bought it is because this executioner has rings on his titties, dude. My camera can't do justice, but if you look at his eyes, his eyes look like he's scared, dude. Freaking pierced titties. Random dude, man. I got that. I don't know if it's good. And then I got this game, Voodoo Vince. It's uh, only on Xbox, you know, exclusive. Um, I like these kinds of games where it's like a little character and it's kind of like a platformer. These are the only games for Xbox I'd buy. Like the exclusive ones that are kind of cartoony and platformy and stuff. So, Because in my opinion, I don't think that the original Xbox is that great. I think it's a shitty system. Um, caught me some comics. These are all just Uncanny X-Men ones. 75 cents each. Found them at the... That random bookstore I always go to. It looks like they got a new shipment of old comics. Um, they also had a whole bunch of new mutants. I really thought I was going to find another first appearance of Deadpool, but I didn't. But they did have issues that were close to that one, so... I don't know. Maybe if I, too bad I'm going back to school where I could just wait and see if they're going to end up having it. But whatever. I already have a, have a copy. So those are all the X-Men ones I got. I believe those are all early 90s, like 1991. I found this for my friend. I bought it for him. It was only two bucks. He's about to pick it up pretty soon. Um, starting lineup, Eddie George, um, Oilers. Yeah. Um, my friend is a huge Tennessee Titans fan, man. Uh, you don't you don't understand. He um, fucking loves them, man. Um, I think this was the last year they were the Oilers and then they became the Titans. And, um, I think the first Super Bowl that kind of got my friend really into football was when, I believe it was Eddie George, if y'all remember, where, like, the Titans were so close to winning the Super Bowl, and how Eddie George had the ball, and, like, they tackled his ass, and he was trying to reach for that freaking goal line, and he couldn't get the touchdown. That sucked, dude. I remember watching that, thinking, like, oh, man, Oilers suck. Well, not Oilers, but Titans. But Titans, they're not bad, man. So my boy, I bought this for my boy. He he doesn't even know that I bought this for him yet. I told him I bought something for him. He's going to pick it up, but he doesn't know what it is. So hopefully, you know, he likes it. I'm sure he will. The last thing I bought, I haven't bought a vinyl in a minute. This is Genesis, uh, Invisible Touch. Invisible Touch, the song, is my favorite Genesis song. It it could possibly be my favorite Phil Collins song ever, too. Like, But it got good tracks. Invisible Touch, Land of Confusion, In Too Deep. Anything. You, you, you already know, man. Good shit. I love this shit, dude. I'm glad I found this. That was like that was like a fucking... That was a buck. But, yeah, that's it, guys. Random shit. That will probably be my last pickup before I go out to school. Because I already have stuff planned for the next two days before I leave out. And it sure as hell ain't fucking buying stuff. So, that'll be it. Um, Once again, thanks for watching. Peace out.